Well, the last couple of weeks have seen a lot of rumblings over how to fix Obamacare. And, well, those grunts and doubts were actually coming from Republicans who uh, were fearful of actually owning the failed law. You know, if you break it or if you inherit it, you own it. I got to tell you something. There was a rare move today for Washington, D.C. when Donald Trump skipped out on the big political points that the party could have scored and instead saying, hey, he's going to rescue the Democrats and our health care system in the process. I said this two years ago, 17 is going to be the bad year. It's going to be catastrophic. Frankly, we could sit back and it was a thought from a political standpoint, but it wouldn't be fair to the people. We could sit back and wait and watch and criticize. Back with me now, Tammy Bruce, Bob Cusack, and Eric Erickson. Eric, you know, I, that struck me uh, almost as much as anything that I heard today, because think about this for a moment. In, in Washington, D.C., when one political party sees another failing, they gain political points from that. You know, by allowing Obamacare to melt down even more for another year and a half, to have a nuclear three-mile island kind of meltdown and blame the Democrats would be great political points. But Donald Trump is saying, let's save the American public instead. Yeah, you know, it struck me as well, very interesting that he would say that today and essentially make a point that he's taking the political game off the table. Because you, you could see Barack Obama, when he came into office, remember, with the collapse of General Motors and collapse of the banks, dragged it out for several months, blaming George Bush for everything before trying to fix it. And here comes Donald Trump saying, you know what, we're not going to drag this out for pain on the American public. We're going to go it right in and fix it and pointing out that the Republicans are going to get credit for saving a failed system. I mean, it really has gotten to the point where right after the election, the Democrats were saying it would be impossible to repeal Obamacare. And now they're saying, well, even if you repeal it, its legacy will be so impactful, it'll be as if you didn't repeal it. They, they know repeal is coming now. And this is something, Tammy, that's, that's bipartisan. Uh, you know, both parties, there are a lot of Republicans who probably would rather, hey, let's just step away, let it melt down, blame Obama, and, and, and score political points. But Ultimately, they were elected to fix things like this. Yeah, look, uh, when they were, when we had the midterms and they got in in 2010 and 14, that was the main thing, especially in 2010. We're going to kill Obamacare. We're going to unfund it. We're going to defund it. We're going to do everything. But what they ended up doing is what Donald Trump said he wouldn't do. They sat back and they waited. The problem with that, of course, is it's our lives that were impacted. So the American people saw that. It was that kind of laissez-faire kind of retreat that we've rejected. We want action. We're tired of the political game. We're tired of a government that thinks this is their board game and that we're just kind of the observers. And Donald Trump understands that because he comes from us in the sense of we've got a, work, a job to do. We've got things to fix. And also what's key with Trump and the reason why it will work and what the Republicans have always been bad at is communication. So now the people have heard that messaging, which you've discussed, and they've never heard it described that way before. So we can do it now, and he's going to make sure the American people know why we're handling it this way. And of course, Bob, we have heard Republicans uh, grumble uh, about not having a replacement ready immediately and, and, and talking about some of the other pitfalls. And I don't think they're all being disingenuous, but it does feel like many of them are trying to punt rather than embrace this problem. Yeah, I mean, the, the the Republican Party and Trump on this issue, I mean, they're at a crossroads. They're going to have to decide, what are we going to do? Are we going to do it simultaneously or, or maybe weeks later? They don't really have a detailed plan that they all have coalesced behind it. But at the same time, instead of punting, some of them are saying, well, listen, uh, it, we don't want to make it effective two years from now and have nothing in between. Because uh, if we wait two years, then if we can't do it, then we'll just have to keep punting and punting. And, and Obamacare will never go away. So uh, it is a governing uh, summit that they're going to need, I think, uh, to decide how to proceed with this. But certainly on Obamacare, it has been a political boon for Republicans. They have the House and Senate because of the politics of Obamacare. Uh, and now they've got to they've right. resolve it and fix it. Real quick, Eric. Uh, also, of course, uh, the stock market stalled at one point, went down, particularly drug stocks. Do you have any issue with, with Donald Trump saying, hey, you know what, because we buy so many, you know, so many pharmaceuticals, uh, we should put some pressure on these drug companies, which consequently means that it squeezes their margins a little bit because Republicans have been loath to use uh, their power, even for Medicaid, uh, to, to, to affect drug prices. 
You know, I, I'm always a little bit concerned when the government gets involved in this, but, you know, there are free market solutions that will help with this that the Democrats have flat out avoided and legislated against. And if Donald Trump goes in that direction with the free market, listen, I've got a personal investment in this. My wife has a very rare form of lung cancer right now, and her medicine is $16,000 a month. And driving those costs down through free market approaches right. is a brilliant idea. There are papers on how to do it. And the Democrats have refused to do it because it would be an admission that the free market can lower health care costs. All right. Real quick, Tammy. Yeah, I think this, though, is also a legislative coup in that this is something, though, the Democrats have wanted, which is lower drug prices. Is this a way to get the Democrats to the table that as, as an edge to help repeal Obamacare? All 